Hello Platers! Whether you're heading home for the weekend and holidays or getting to a far-off location, the Waze application can definitely guide you along the way with the least amount of traffic and stress. If you are unfamiliar with the route you would need to take to get to your destination, Waze is definitely a dependent partner. To get the most out of the community-powered, feature-packed navigation app, here are some tips you would need to remember. Welcome to our daily drive, everyday tips for the everyday driver. Get to your destination faster, tips on how to maximize ways. Number 1, the best time to depart. Everyone knows how crazy the traffic gets especially the rush hour period. Waze can basically tell you how your trip will be affected by traffic based on your departure time. After choosing your destination, tap later and you can scroll down to see how drive time is affected by what time you want to arrive. Make your selection, hit save and Waze will alert you when it's time to leave. Number 2, Alternate Routes. After you plug in your destination, the application will choose the best route for you but there are alternatives you can choose from. Tap the Routes button and you'll see other alternative routes you can take. On the list view, you can see if there are traffic accidents, construction or police. On the map view, you can see how the route differs. Number 3, the overview. Clicking on the overview button gives you the idea of what are the things you would need to expect on your travel time. It indicates the total travel time, hazardous areas or even the list of police personnel you might encounter. Number 4, send an estimated time of arrival. Are you running a little late for your meeting or barcada gathering? Then let them know the status of your travel by sending them your ETA tap the status bar at the bottom of the map and tap send the EA to shoot out text or email with your arrival time. Number 5, Voice Directions Waze can eat up your phone's battery given its constant usage of the application and your data, so be sure you turn your phone off, and use the voice directions as much as possible, Waze provides when mapping you. It'll save battery life and human lives. Don't always look at your screen every now and then to avoid accidents. Number 6, Have a Clean Map Waze throws a lot of icons on its map, from police, speed cams, other wazers to crashes, traffic jams and even road construction. You can simplify and clean the map by heading to settings then go to display and map and go to details on map and toggling off the features you don't want appearing on your map. Number 7, IT's a not a race. By system default, Waze will warn you when you are speeding. Manage your speed limit by updating your settings. Go to settings then go to speedometer and go to when to show alert and you can change it from its speed limit to 60 km slash h above speed limit or a larger or smaller buffer. You can also set it by a percentage to your liking. Always bear this tips and tricks in mind and have a laid back driving experience. Always remember to buckle up and always follow traffic rules to avoid accidents and inconvenience. Have a happy and safe driving experience. Do you agree with our list? Or did we miss some of the ideas had in mind? Comment down below so we can discuss it. We publish a new episode every day. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, so that you don't miss out on all of our new releases. For more driving and car care tips, visit us at www.blade.ph Blade Auto Center, it's Blade, it's better. If you like this video, please share it with your friends on social media. Help us build more subscribers by spreading the word around. Click the round icon to subscribe at one of the videos on the left to watch our next feature. See you again soon.